Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can make Windows 10 look and feel a little bit more like Windows 11. Perhaps you're thinking about upgrading to Windows 11, but you're not really sure about the new interface, the new start menu, and you would like to get used to that or at least try it out before upgrading to Windows 11 on your main system. Well, today's program might be right up your alley. It's called Start 11. Now this may ring a bell to some of you guys who saw this video video that I made a couple months ago, Start 11's main functionality is to bring the Windows 10 or even the Windows Vista slash Windows 7 style start menu to Windows 11. Well, recently, Stardock took Start 11 out of beta, and it's now fully released. Version 1.0 is out, and it adds a neat ability to bring the Windows 11 style start menu to Windows 10. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, I feel it's important to mention this, just like in that video, the original one, this video is not sponsored by Stardock at all. I purchased this program myself, so let's dive right into it. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video because this is a giveaway video and I'll be talking more about that later but I'll have the link down below to where you can download Start 11 it costs $5.99 but there is a 30-day free trial available now when you start the program on Windows 10 here it will ask you two things number one it'll say do you want to move the taskbar to the center of the screen like it is in Windows 11 by default then it will ask you if you want to hide the search bar which if you're gonna have it at the center of the screen is recommended because well the search bar is going to take up a ridiculous amount of space and it would look pretty weird and that's obviously not the way that it is in windows 11 in fact there is no search button at all because it's now integrated into the start menu and start 11 has that functionality too and that's why it gives you the option to completely hide the search box or even the search icon if you chose to uh, display that instead so we're going to enable the start menu here and you've got four start menu styles to choose from the obviously the one we're most interested in is the Windows 11 style so when you select that and click on the start button this is what you're going to get so yeah it looks very very close to the Windows 11 start menu just with a Windows 10 twist like we don't have the rounded corners like we do in Windows 11 it fits more in with Windows 10's design language here though they have brought over the gap that you have in between the taskbar and the start menu you don't have that in Windows 10 so here's what the default start menu looks like the only thing that stands stands out to me are these icons down here. These are essentially all of your options where you have the ability to open up your folders here. So you got documents, you have downloads, music, pictures, your user folder. This right here is for control panel. This right here is the modern UI settings or UWP settings, whatever you want to say. And this right here is the run prompt. So you can get to that here. So it adds some additional functionality that you don't have in the Windows 11 start menu, but you can modify these. So if all you want are the power options like it is in Windows 11. You just select the gear icon here and it brings up this list here. These are all your shortcuts. So you can go through and you can delete everything that you don't want. So we can go through here and get rid of absolutely everything in here. So we'll just bring it down to, actually there isn't even an option to disable the power options. Those are just there uh, regardless. So we can remove everything. And now when we open the start menu, all we have are the power options. Now let's talk about moving the taskbar to the center. That's very easy to do as well. So we just go down here to taskbar and you scroll down here and you change it from left aligned to center aligned and it will move the taskbar to the center. Now removing the search box is pretty much a necessity here. You could leave it, but it just, it really just looks out of place. So we're going to uh, right click on the taskbar, go to search, we're going to hide that. And we will also hide Cortana and the task view button as well. Why not? Now you can see that it, it does keep it over here. So you kind of have to go back in here and reselect center aligned for it to properly update there. And yeah, now it's in the center. Isn't that awesome? Now you can also change the taskbar color and the transparency settings from here. So if you want to turn off blurring the wallpaper, you can turn off using automatic color and select a color yourself. When I'm in dark mode here and I select a white for the color, everything is still white here. You got all this text and the icons here. It just doesn't really show up as well. Uh, if you were to change that from settings, you know, it would change all of this to 
uh, black text so it would fit in better on the white background so you can do that we'll just leave it um, as the default you know automatic color for now but it's nice that you have that functionality and you also have the ability to change the start button icon in fact the default icon is this one right here and yeah it's not the actual Windows 11 start menu icon they can't really distribute that with this program anyways but you do have a ton of options in here to choose from and on top of that you can select your own image if you created your own and you can download other user created images and this will take you to a page on win customize which is a stardock site and in fact somebody has created a windows 11 themed start button that you can use with this program so you can download that and make it look even more like windows 11 and of course it wouldn't really be complete without changing the background as well so i've got the windows 11 default wallpaper here and we can set that as desktop background and there you go let's talk about that giveaway so even though stardock is not sponsoring this video they saw my original video and someone from stardock reached out and offered to send me three start 11 product keys to give away to you guys so that's where going to be doing in this video right now so if you want to get in on a chance to win one of these three keys all you have to do is click the link in the pinned comment down below and that'll take you to a page that looks like this and from here you just want to do what it says and enter your name and email address so i can contact you if you win and by the way it doesn't have to be your actual name if you're not comfortable with that that's totally fine using a username is totally cool then just do what it says and click the button that says click here and that will take you back to my channel page but in doing so you will be entered into the giveaway and that's it i'll draw the winners in one week here is the official end time and the winners will be contacted via the email address that they provide so that's it guys that's all you have to do huge thank you again to stardock for providing me with those three keys really awesome of them and huge thanks to all of you for watching if you enjoyed this one be sure to give it a thumbs up and get subscribed and as always i will see you in the next video